Hello from the Bureau. Severe Tropical Cyclone Debbie is now a Category 3 system, currently located around 375 kilometres east of Townsville. The recent intensification to a Category 3 can be seen on satellite imagery, as we can see the rotation around the core of this cyclone, and we can see the classic eye-like structure starting to take place. Please remember that these videos won't be updated as regularly as the cyclone track maps and advices, so make sure that you're checking the Bureau's website and app for the latest warning and forecast information. Severe Tropical Cyclone Debbie is expected to continue to move to the south, southwest, intensifying as it approaches the Queensland coast. A coastal crossing is currently expected on Tuesday morning between around about Eyre and Cape Hillsborough to the north of Mackay as a Category 4 system as it comes in onto the coast there. That does bring with it very destructive wind gusts, potentially of up to 240 kilometres per hour near the centre of this system. The main change that we've seen over the past 12 hours is the position of this coastal crossing. It's now a little further to the south, closer to Bowen. Although the system is still offshore, its effects are starting to be felt. Gales are now occurring about the Whitsunday Islands, and those gales are expected to extend further inland across the warning zone during today. Destructive winds with gusts of over 125 kilometres an hour may develop about the exposed coast and islands between Cape Upstart and Mackay this afternoon, before potentially extending further across the warning zone later today or during Tuesday, and that includes Townsville. Cyclone Debbie is likely to remain a cyclone in, in strength as it continues to move inland, and that does mean it has the potential to bring damaging to destructive winds and significant rainfall as it tracks inland to places like Charters Towers. Widespread daily rainfall of up to 200 millimetres is expected with this passage of this cyclone. And we might even see isolated falls in excess of 400 millimetres along the coastal fringe. As we can see here, the highest rainfall is generally going to be close to or to the south of the cyclone, where we see these strong cyclonic winds just piling the moisture in across the coastal areas. So with so much rainfall expected, a flood watch is current for coastal catchments between Rollingston and Gladstone, extending inland to the Upper Thompson, Baku and Upper Flinders catchments. Severe flash flooding and major river rain flooding is likely with this system. Storm surge is also a risk factor with severe tropical cyclones. And as the cyclone crosses the coast, if that happens around high tide, it will enhance these effects. So there may be some coastal inundation between Proserpine and Mackay on the high tides today. And as the cyclone crosses the coast on Tuesday morning, residents between Cape Ferguson and Mackay are specifically warned about the dangerous storm tide. So with such a dangerous situation developing, make sure that you're checking the Bureau's website and app for the latest warning and forecast information. And if you're in the area, follow advice from emergency services.